And what is the product demand for the Asia region? Can you give us a sense of where the product offerings and solutions that uh, countries are looking for? Sure. So it's a really interesting region. And again, um, our unique position as a company that we are cross sector across land, air, sea, space and cyber. Um, not many companies have that full portfolio of defence and security. Uh, so we see quite a different demand across the region. Um, in some cases, it's very much on the maritime in order to protect the um, naval, you know, South China Sea, etc. Um, and in other areas, it's more around the land borders, uh, you know, for example, India. Um, so it really is a cross sector, as I say, space and cyber is becoming extremely important across the region as well. Um, we've just recently uh, had the regulations approved for the acquisition of Ball Aerospace. Um, and we also have a, a business in space missions, it's a full, fully owned BA systems business, was actually here in Singapore last week, signing memorandum of understanding with countries such as Singapore, the Philippines, Thailand and Malaysia um, for a ride share, which is the first in Asia, um, which is a really exciting project as well. So a cross spectre of, uh, of, of different products required. I just want to talk about Europe. I understand that a number of countries have donated BAE systems to the Ukraine uh, war effort. How are you uh, working or the company working with Kyiv on the maintenance of all of that equipment? Um, so the other unique position that we as a company see ourselves, other than being across all these sectors, is that we also have major manufacturing and uh, development capabilities in our US, UK and Australia markets. And obviously the US and UK governments have donated um, a lot of uh, products, as you say, to Ukraine. Um, for us as a company, it's extremely important to protect those who protect us. And what I mean by that is the warfighter who is out there every day fighting for our freedom. We need to make sure that they are protected and they come home safely to their families. Um, so a lot of products have been donated. Those products need to be maintained. Uh, the Ukrainian people need to be trained on how to utilize them. And of course, we need to set Ukraine up to be self-sustainable in the future. Um, so BA Systems has recently opened an office in Kiev, um, and it is an important market for us to, to work in the future as well, supporting our home governments. And you've already touched on this, but on the acquisition front, BAE Systems uh, have been quite busy, uh, particularly in relation to the US uh, Ball Aerospace uh, Company. That acquisition, $5.5 billion, I believe one of the biggest for the company. Uh, how will this acquisition improve US revenues for the business? Um, so obviously we've only just had the regulatory approvals um, and also we are in a, in a closed period um, from a financial perspective anyway. So um, difficult for me to give you a direct answer on that at the moment. Moment, but obviously it is a large acquisition. It is giving us another 5,000 employees in the in the US um, and we're certainly looking at how we can support that business in the US but again in the export market as well.